Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to K O W. And it is, of course, Sunday showdown. And tonight we have a host of matches that you're going to love, of love, love. Now, first things first, huge announcement for Friday's show. Oh, after the controversy that happened just two days ago on Friday Night Fights where Zachary East won the fatal four-way elimination number one contenders match for the heavyweight title, Edel, in controversial fashion, it has been announced that on Friday it will be Zachary East versus David Reich in a one-on-one -on -one match. The winner will become the number one contender to the heavyweight title, seeing as how Rice did have a ho uh, Reich did have a hold of the bottom rope. Which led to a second announcement that tonight on Sunday Night Showdown, it will be Gustavo Loso taking on David Bowe in a rematch from Last Stand. The winner of that match will become the number one contender to the infinite title, and, of course, also, Friday, we found out about the vicious beating that Theo Bay took from Ivory West backstage after Last Stand went off air. Uh, Kayla May went on to Twitter and social media and talked about how she thanked Ivory West for doing her dirty work for her and that she was going to take advantage of this situation to become two-time women's champion, which of course caused uh, Ivory West to respond to that with, I didn't attack Faye Obey to help you. I attacked Faye Obey to make a statement. And tonight, you will put your number one contendership on the line if you want that title, or else you too will be like Faye Bay. And so tonight, eat. it will be a number one contendership match for the women's title. Ivory West versus Kayla May after Ivory West threats did kind of force Kayla May's hand. And so we have a huge show tonight. Two number one contendership matches and a women's tag team extravaganza match to kick off our show with Haley J and of course her partner Samantha Coach taking on the cosplay Bays who unfortunately are no longer undefeated. They suffered a loss after a very, very brutal and amazing match at last stand to Bad and Backwoods who remain undefeated. And now tonight they must look to continue on their way. Cosplay Bays can still win the tournament they just need bad and backwoods to lose a match any match really and if the cosplay bays can stay undefeated besides their loss to bad and backwoods and bad and backwoods loses two matches then cosplay bays will be the winner so very interesting situation we've got going on here but uh it's now time for some women's tag team extravaganza action Meg Ted will start it off against Haley J in a one on one, well, in just a regular match here. Oh, and right out the gate, Haley J taking advantage. Oh, big face plant. And of course, yep, there it is. Meg Ted, not one to just sit there and take it, but it is Haley J. Nice deep arm drag counter. Oh, big spine buster for Haley J. He now starts working the leg. And out the gate, Haley J on fire. All of these women, even the ones who cannot win the tournament at this point in time. Perhaps showing a lot of fire because... They could be voted into the women's fatal four-way elimination match for the light heavyweight title. Which will be at the January 31st, 2018 pay-per-view 
Clash of Immortals biggest show of KOW past, present, and future. It will be there where every title will be defended, and it will be there where we will see a host of amazing matches. And a big one count. Possibly could have gotten two, but did not. And now Mariah Marie now has herself in control of this match. As she goes up top looking for something big, a big frog splash. Goes for the pin off the frog splash. One. Only a one count. Oh, and a big drop kick to the back of the neck. And now, of course, Mariah Marie picking Sam up, Samantha up for a power bomb. No, actually, it's a big snake eyes in the corner. And now, big stomp to the gut. And a big over the top rope leg drop onto the head goes for the pin. One, only a one count. And now Mariah Marie tagging in Meg Ted goes to work almost instantly, but it is Samantha Coach fighting her way out. And now, of course, Meg Ted taking control of Haley J, who tagged herself in, sends her to the ropes. Oh, went for the drop kick, but Haley J dodges it. Now it is Meg Ted who takes momentum and a big spinning heel kick. Goes for the pin off the spinning heel kick. Not even a one count. Goes for the surprise cradle. One. Only a one count there as well. And now it is Haley J who dumps Meg Ted out. And now it is Meg Ted coming back in a big springboard, but Haley J dodges it. And now Haley J once again in command. And of course, a huge win here could mean everything. One, two, and a big kick out by Meg Ted. Oh, big knee to the back. And now Haley J. Oh, big drop kick. To the back of the neck. Now picks up Meg Ted. Who reverses it. And now it is Meg Ted. Oh. Big face buster. Picks up Haley J. Perhaps. No. It is Haley J who dodges it. And puts Meg Ted down. Oh. Big stomp. And slams her face into the mat. Making a statement. And now, and now Meg Ted goes up to the top rope. Mariah Marie incapacitated on the outside. Went for a big splash, but missed it sadly. Here we go. Haley J now in control. Sends Meg Ted into the corner. Oh. And now Meg Ted fights her way out of the predicament. And makes a tag to her fresher tag team partner, Mariah Marie. And now sending Haley J into the turnbuckle. Oh, but Haley J shuts her down with a big Iranagi. And this match already a lot going on. And now Mariah Marie turns it around on Haley J. And hits a big suplex. And now Mariah Marie picks up Haley J, but no, Haley J fights out of it. And now Haley J working the leg of Mariah Marie. Picks her up. And now Mariah Marie fights out of that. 
And she does it. She picks her up. Oh, big double knee face buster. Goes for the pin off the double knee face buster. One, two, three. The cosplay bays continue to dominate their competition, only being knocked off by the one team who is yet to be beat. And the cosplay bays, of course, after going through a brutal match with Bad and Backwoods, somehow survive yet another match just a few days later. And now they get a long-awaited rest until the next block of the women's tag team extravaganza. And it's something that I'm sure they've been waiting on since last stand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our second match of the evening. And of course, a rematch from KOW Last Stand, December 27th, where this man, Gustavo Loso, took on David Bowe for the last spot in the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match to determine the number one contender for the KOW heavyweight title. Of course, it would be Friday that we found out that Gustavo Loso would be in that match anyway because Hunter Faze didn't want to be in that match because he didn't believe he stood a chance. Then, in the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match, there was controversy where David Reich was hanging on to the bottom rope when Zachary East pinned him for three. Therefore, General Manager Sherman has taken David Reich out of this match, making it a one-on-one -on -one match instead of a triple threat. And it will be David Reich versus Zachary East Friday to determine the number one contender to the heavyweight championship. But tonight, we will find out the number one contender to Adam Mays' Infinite Championship at the, December, at the January 31st Clash of Immortals pay-per-view, where every title will be on the line, including the Infinite Championship. Who, or rather, which one of these two men will get a shot at Infinite gold of course it was david bow who was victorious against gustavo loso at last stand can he do it again this time with higher stakes than the last unsuccessful he was the second man to be eliminated friday but of course tonight he could be the man to win and go on to challenge for the infinite title. He's had not one but two opportunities at that infinite title. This being his second opportunity, will he squander a second opportunity? Or can he finally do what he's failed to do for so long? And that's capture an opportunity to put some gold around his waist. And here we go. Gustavo Loso and David Bowe. Winner faces Adam Mays for the Infinite Championship. And right out of the gate, David Bowe takes the early advantage. And perhaps if he moves quickly, he can finish this match before it goes too long. Yeah, and just working that head and neck. And just brutal out the gate, perhaps in a rush. One, only a one count. Perhaps he knows that Gustavo may have a plan. After facing him last time, these two could know each other very well. And now it's Gustavo who makes his way out. And David goes for something. Gustavo rolls him up. Doesn't even get a one count. Big punch to the face. Oh. And a big blow to the back for David Bowe. It is now Gustavo Loso in control. Picks up David Bowe. He's got him up for a big pile driver. 
Now Gustavo also working the head and neck of David Bow, but David Bow counters. And now it is Gustavo Loso who counters. But now it's David Bow who counters. And now David Bow going up top. Oh, big senton onto the back, but didn't get all of it. Now he picks up Gustavo. And a big uppercut. Puts down Gustavo. Goes for the pin. One. Only a one count on Gustavo. And now David perhaps believes he's still got this. Ugh. Working that head and neck of Gustavo. Perhaps preparing for something that could finish it for him. And now working the leg, doing everything he can. And a big scoop slam. Now picks him up. Throws him into the corner. But now it is Gustavo who counters. And now picks up David Bow. But it's David Bow who counters. Back and forth action. These two know each other so well. And now David Bow sending Gustavo back into the corner. Puts him into the tree of woe. Oh, and a big drop kick in the corner. Goes for the pin off the drop kick in the corner. One. Only a one count. And now picks him up. And perhaps it's time. Is it? One. But there's always a second. And you can't forget that this is the three brothers. The three brothers. Perhaps it's time. Perhaps it's time. He's feeling froggy. He missed it. He missed the frog splash. And now it is Gustavo Loso looking for something big. Big pedigree. Big pedigree. Goes for the pin off the pedigree. One. And it's David Bow who kicks out at one. Good God, what a number one contendership match. And now Gustavo going up to the second rope to showboat. Perhaps a bad idea. And now, oh, huge punch to the back. And Gustavo Loso countered his way out of it. Big suplex. Big suplex. Dropping David right on his head and neck. Followed by a big knee lift and a big elbow to the back. And now it is Gustavo who finds himself once again in control of this match. And a big spine buster. And a big, big spine buster. Oh, it just works that knee and leg but David Bow now fights his way back but it's Gustavo who takes control again back and forth action these two know each other so damn well and now of course it's David Bow taking advantage of Gustavo big suplex picks up Gustavo and goes for a big gun, gut wrench slam. Goes for the pin. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. David Bow has done it. He is the number one contender to the KOW Infinite Championship. And he will get his Infinite Championship match at the January 31st Clash of immortals and it will be i'm sure a stellar match for david bow taking on the infinite champion adam mays now ladies and gentlemen it's time for our main event and a lot is at stake and potentially hanging in the balance in this main event match now kayla may was basically intimidated into putting up her number one contendership for the women's title 
tonight by Ivory West. And earlier in the locker room, it seemed as if Kayla May was terrified of Ivory West. Now, I know now she looks confident, but it could perhaps be a facade that she's put on to not make that seem so true. However, Ver, she takes on the woman responsible for putting Faye Obey out for a number of weeks. Now, Faye Obey has requested she not be stripped of the women's title, to which General Manager Sherman has granted her. However, he did say that she would have to come back and defend her title within 30 days, the deadline being January 31st, Clash of Immortals. Now, we have no update on Faye Obey's status at this time, but we can say that it is not looking as if she will defend her title anytime soon, which means whoever wins this match tonight could become the new women's champion by default. And Ivory West, of course, making her way down to the ring. Earlier today, I was in the locker rooms, or rather backstage in the hallways. And as Ivory made her way down the hallway, every woman in front of her left the entire hallway. She is someone you don't want to be up against, and she's not someone you want to be in the way of. And tonight, unfortunately, Kayla May, well, she's going to have to take on Ivory West, not only in Ivory's debut match, but also, she will have to fight a woman who no one wants to step up to in Ivory West. Winner here tonight becomes the KOW, the number one contender to the KOW Infinite Championship. Here we go. And of course... Ivory West. Oh, so good at what she does. Never before has she stepped here, but already people are terrifying. This is her first match, and it, right away she's a number one contendership match. Like who, no one in the history of KOW has ever come in to a debut match being a number one contendership match. And of course, Ivory West already dominating Kayla May. And a big hip attack into the corner. And now it is Ivory West with a big sit out power bomb from the corner. And now Ivory West, of course, continuing ugh, to suffer more damage and punishment to Kayla May. Goes for the pin. One. Only a one count. Oh, and a big drop kick to the back of the neck. And now Kayla May fighting her way out. But it is Ivory West who counters oh, and drops Kayla May down on to her side. And now Ivory going up top. High risk does pay off with some high reward. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. For Ivory West. Oh, once again, a big drop kick to the back of the neck. Picks up Kayla May. Big kick. And a big hip attack. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. For Ivory West on Kayla May. Huge statement could be made here. And now... Ivory West has her up. Oh, for a big brain buster. Goes for the pin off the brain buster. Could this be it? One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, your new number one contender to the women's championship... Ivory 
West in her debut match, knocking off the former women's champion. And now, now the stage is set. The woman who completely took Feo Bay out for a number of weeks will get her title match against Feo Bay. The woman responsible for holding the title. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to say, but we'll see you Friday for Friday Night Fights.